very good morning to student uh, now you are going to explain about the part of the mind ventilation system uh, natural ventilation system in mechanical ventilation system natural ventilation uh, the basic uh, how the formation of uh, natural uh, through the downcast and upcast up that is a basic cause of the motor column and some fans the fan is a mechanical ventilation system in which centrifugal auxiliary and also the some booster fans uh, these uh, we are going to discuss about the around 69 uh, slides right uh, my name is karuna kumar hod mining uh, mine environmental engineering the subject which natural ventilation is a, a topic uh, in sub topic is motor column is a prime and also including the fans also i'm adding this also uh, right. uh, this is a today our lecture is concerned which a topic now right uh, this is my visiting at open cast mines this is an uh, visited uh, underground uh, ventilation survey the part of ventilation survey so next uh, today the after completion of uh, uh, this topic you would be able to define the uh, uh, motor column and fan so come to the uh, what is the mean by first initially what is the natural natural means the natural simple word without any application without any artificial so air, air flow resulting uh, from a pressure uh, difference uh, caused by natural means this pressure difference is due to uh, unequal densities of in air downcast and upcast shafts natural force which can create and maintain uh, substantial air flow is basically a thermal energy due to the temperature differences small and shallow mines or sometimes ventilation only natural means so this is a prime factor uh, both in unequal uh, density is a major cause density how the vary because of temperature so that uh, natural ventilation is uh, depending on the uh, unequal uh, differences of density is a prime uh, factor to formation of the uh, natural ventilation system then to study the applications of natural ventilation and uh, techniques used to minimize uh, external energy and uh, exchange the quality of the building objective uh, of course if you may building or any other uh, to study the how to optimize the natural ventilation in a, a building or a mine to minimize mechanical system for the ventilation Uh, to study the specific approaches and the design of natural ventilation system which varies based on the uh, building and or uh, the mine uh, mouth itself and type and locate local climate uh, to study different type of functions and techniques for use of for the natural ventilation now this is the actual thermal temperature difference uh, temperature difference uh, between the warm air inside the and cool air outside can cause the air in the room to rise and exist at the ceiling for ridge and enter the via lower openings to the wall so this is a um, naturally we have put into the ventilator such a way uh, the flowing of the warm air uh, from the high level to or uh, sometimes low level to high level uh, so these are the um, fundamental things you have to understand the uh, cooling effect in the uh, particular location so another humidity induced the cool air is a heavy due to its humidity content and drops down to the indoor area it can be achieved properly with a cool um, tour or wind ca catcher or malkoff and bad gear cool tower ventilator is only effective where the outdoor humidity is very low so this is another phenomenon so overall the basic uh, thing is you need the uh, what is the mean by the motor column motor column is a, a very essential uh, in the natural ventilation uh, system so what is it mean by motor column it is a height imaginary column of air uh, that is a 1 meter cube 
uh, one meter square is the cross section of that produce a pressure equal to the uh, difference of pressures between the bottom dc and up cost and down cost of it is an effective force causing of the air flows so motu column uh, we can be measured uh, area of column area of column one meter square cross section area uh, the difference between the dc and uc so so that pressure is a uh, motu column so depending upon the motu column uh, the air uh, flowing is uh, uh, moving from the one side to other side the height of the uh, excess weight of air column of dc shaft 1 meter square of cross section of which gives the rise to natural ventilation of nvp is called the motu column this is the basic definition the height of excess weight of the air column of dc air shaft 1 meter square of cross section which gives the rise the nvp to call the motu column so the level differences of these two uh, what are the uh, difference of the down cross shafts uh, excess of the um, uh, the area that much of pressure will be the create the nvp of the motu column so in other words uh, you can be explained you can be give the defined uh, the motu column when they're referring to nvp is unbalanced part of the whole the dc column one meter square in cross section that uh, that part of the dc column which is not balanced by the uh, uc air column so then can be can write it in a motu column uh, h in meters natural ventilation pressure multiplied by the density of air in dc shaft so this is a simple uh, uh, formula for the motu column please note down this formula Then, so now I am going to the explain the some nature ventilation calculation part. Uh, keep in your uh, pen and uh, notebook uh, different uh, parameters you can be observed here. The parameters required to determine the NVP are capital B equal to that is can be measured in the barometric pressure in millimeters of mercury. So this is the first factor. Next, temperature suffix D, that is downcast shaft temperature. That is a D suffix you can show here. This is a uh, uh, showing that here. This is a um, temperature, temperature of air DC shaft in degree centigrade. Similarly, uh, TU, that is a suffix U is a upcast temperature upcast. So, temperature in DC shaft degree centigrade. Similarly, H, height of the motu column, height of the, here is, the height of the motu column in meters so that is a column and d depth of the column between the top of the higher level of the shaft and bottom deeper shaft in the meters the depth of the column between so height of the motu column so this is the difference between the upcast and downcast this is the depth of the column between the top of the higher level of the shaft and bottom of the deeper shaft of in the meters so these are the uh, prime uh, factors for calculation of the NVP. I would like to repeat once again, B equal to barometric pressure, TD downcast temperature, TU temperature of the upcast, height of the motu column, depth of the uh, column between the top of the higher level of the shaft and bottom of the deeper shaft in meters. Let us go to the formula. This is a difference air density between the DC and UC shaft into depth. So that is a natural ventilation pressure equal to 
difference uh, difference in uh, de uh, uh, density between the dc and the up cost into depth so let us see here there will a, a difference of the pressure you can be the, the, this is a general pressure of the um, standardized uh, uh, ips system that is a uh, si systems 0 0.4645 uh, barometric pressure divided by the 273 the kelvin is converted into uh, centigrade degrees uh, add the 273 plus td and minus 0 0.4645 b divided by 273 plus uh, tu overall multiplied by d so this is another formula please note down then let the density of the air in a dc shaft equal to 0 0.465 b multiplied by 273 plus td so motu column uh, can be rewrite as uh, uh, common of the 0 0.445 b is a very common tu minus td by 273 plus td by 273 plus tu multiply the d multiplied by the again by down cost of temperature so let is the consolidated we will get the h equal to tu minus td that is the difference of temperature centigrade by tu uh, by into up cost into multiplied d so this is the way the h is the height of the motu column tu the average depth of the up cost average depth of the down cost shaft and then depth of the column between the top of the higher level shaft and deeper shaft in meters so please write down one by one again i repeat it so this is a one part so this is the nvp formula And this is the density of DC shaft. This is a motive column power block. Please note down. So what you call of H.
height of the motive column average temperature is soft average temperature dc is soft depth of the column between the top of the higher level shaft and deeper shaft so these are the general uh, abbreviations of the each uh, uh, formula topic uh, then we take the one example based on the evo formula uh, take a one uh, example problem to solving the uh, getting the mochu column of the particular uh, conditions uh, mean air temperature in a dc shaft 400 meter deep in 28 degrees the dc shaft town car shaft uh, 400 meter depth uh, its temperature 28 degrees so we can we can we convert into kelvin you get 273 add it for that for upper temperature 38 degrees calculate the motu column this is a problem so now the nvp assuming average barometer pressure is dc shaft to be 750 millimeters of hg so this is the general barometer pressure can measure in the uh, um, the uh, in millimeters for uh, uh, that uh, pitcher tube so, so that uh, we measure in 750 mm so let us uh, go to the uh, calculation first you note the this problem Let's so motive column formula. We apply the uh, Tu minus Td, 273 minus T into T. So 38 degrees minus 28 degrees divided by the 273 plus upcast shaft temperature that is multiplied with 400. We will get the 12.8 meters. The motive column of the per particular conditions. The motive column of the 12.8 meters. Please note down. Then, so NVP, motive column into density of air in a DC shaft. So density of the air in a DC shaft is 0 0.4645B into 273 plus TD. NPP formula equal to motive column into downcast shaft density of the downcast shaft. NV is equal to motive column into downcast shaft density. Density of the air in a DC shaft equal to 0 0.464. 4645B divided by the 273 plus TD. So now you will get it to around 1.157 kg per meter cube of uh, volume of the pressure we can expect from the uh, this thing. Now, NVP equal to motive column into density of the air in DC shaft, 12.8 uh, into 1.17, this is 14.87 kg F per meter square. So, total we can be converted into Pascal. Uh, you will get the 148.1 Pascals.
so these are the uh, best example for the calculation of uh, motor column uh, then i am going to the uh, next top um, part that is a limitation of natural ventilation limitation of natural ventilation there must be a natural difference of temperature between the two interacted uh, vertical shafts inclined columns of air contained between the same two horizontal planes natural difference of the density between the column of should be maintained to start the purely natural ventilation the two entrance of the mine must be normal to the different surface levels so in such conditions only uh, natural ventilation can be happened otherwise uh, it is the reversal may be happened sometime uh, not working it's not possible to differences proper difference is not there so these are the general limitations uh, must be natural and difference of temperature is required and inclined column or air condition between the same two or two planes and also there must be a difference of the level surface levels also a natural ventilating effect uh, will be created only if the entering uh, downcast of air is a cooler than the returning upcast soft air it is subjected to the much less control than mechanical ventilation it's so limited for small and shallow mines up to the uh, 50 meter depth it is limited for a small and shallow depth up to 50 meter depth in case of emergency such as a fires in a underground nature ventilation cannot be reversed like a mechanical ventilation nature ventilation alone is not the adequate even artificial ventilation adds to nature ventilation depending on the weather or climate conditions uh, mechanical ventilation is a common practice in all the mines so so that we, why we require the mechanical means the above conditions above limitations cause we are unable to uh, successfully uh, depending on purely depending on the nature is also um, not possible but if you add to the mechanical ventilation is a better so that uh, uh, most of the mines they are going to the mechanical ventilation system, that is a fan ventilation system that means uh, creating the artificially uh, just like uh, imagine that uh, imagine that you are in a house uh, natural ventilation is come to by your uh, windows or something uh, or uh, ventilators uh, of the your house but uh, this is uh, depending upon the outer temperature and the inner temperature differences and densities and also the uh, uh, wind actions also but uh, once uh, if you wind action is not there more temperature in outside you close the doors such condition we are going to the mechanical side. that means you are using the fan ceiling fan using the table fan sometimes you are the conditioning the your house by applying the air conditioning so these are the mechanical uh, or fan uh, ventilation system so similarly in underground coal mines also underground metal mines are also uh, natural ventilation is an addition and mechanical ventilation is a must for the comfortability giving to the mine workers fan is a mechanical device uh, which gives a air uh, during its uh, rotation ceiling fan table fan exhaust fan what is what uh, ella explained uh, like early uh, topic ceiling fan and double fans purpose of the providing air exhaust for purpose of the kitchen is to remove the smokes so similarly similar way you go through the uh, nature ventilation alone is often inadequate and unreliable for the mine ventilation so this is a very prominent word nature ventilation is alone is often inadequate and unreliable for the mine ventilation is concerned nature ventilation is less efficient than the mechanic ventilation artificial uh, ventilation adds to the nature ventilation so this is a main important hence mechanical ventilation is a common practice in almost all the mine uh, today in 15th century in european mechanical fans were used in the mines so as you can imagine 15th century itself the european uh, country they're using in 1827 multi vane pro propeller propeller uh, fan installed in uh, uh, this is scotland in the 19th century you know france and uk also the belligam in mines in the um, karnataka area also they are applied in 19th century the coal or gold field also they are using 
now in the early days common mechanical instruments are bellows pedal wheels reciprocating compressors so when the steam engine is going on in those days these are the uh, uh, general uh, phenomena of are using uh, creating the artificial vents in through fans the bellows uh, pedal wheels and reciprocating compressors development of centrifugal fans which were initially slow rotating type extremely large so these are the very important in a centrifugal fan is a concern uh, slow rotating type and extremely large type the supply of air current uh, that flows through the mine uh, by mechanical means where natural ventilation is uh, insufficient by mechanical ventilation or fan is known as a mechanical ventilation or fan ventilation system so simply the called as a fan ventilation or mechanical ventilation is converted into the fan is a major uh, uh, key uh, in the rotating purpose of the we are using the fan ventilation system mechanical ventilators is in mines are uh, they are classified in three types centrifugal is one other axle phone is another one the booster fans are used for auxiliary ventilation these three are the Uh, general classifications of mechanical ventilators classification of the mine fans basing on the principles of working there are uh, two types of fans uh, different in principle and design in general use for a ventilating purpose at collieries uh, the centrifugal fan air flow fans and air screw fans it is also called as air screw fan booster is inside an auxiliary fan system Uh, they are based on the uh, classification fan um, design depending by depend of that is the design of uh, fan locations uh, there the backward or front uh, forward bladed and radial bladed so depending upon the fan uh, we can classify the three types the radial bladed uh, backward bladed and forward bladed no classification of the mine fans basing on the location of working surface fans and main main way mechanical ventilation which is already uh, most of the dominated uh, fan that required fan installed below ground that's the booster fan and auxiliary fans so most of the headings uh, where the more quantity is required or more pressure is required to boosting the air the booster fan is required as well as the auxiliary fans also required. exhaust fan is placed at the top of the upcast shaft in return air way uh, this is suck the away polluted mine air uh, completely um, sucks the away away polluted mine airs uh, so most of the exhaust fans are located in the getting the good quality uh, through shaft one shaft is a uh, through naturally but another is the through the fan is the exhausting system the fourth one fans uh, at the top of the downcast shaft top of the downcast shaft or in the intake airway you can be used as a fourth one fans this force uh, forces pure, uh, pure atmospheric air down to the mine a more recent origin the hydraulically uh, midway between the radial flow and axial flow fans is a mixed flow fans they have vane with a double curvature as in the uh, francis of the turbines so the part of the in fans uh, some more literature we added here right fans are the uh, devices uh, you provided in the energy required to the air for it to move inside the gallery fans cause a pressure difference at the mine environment air moves due to this pressure differences 
so air is moving from the pressure differences is moving uh, naturally just like exhaust opposite um, generally force fan is uh, towards us uh, depending upon the right uh, this is also uh, the equipment uh, the equipment the equipment is a designed uh, to move large quantity of air at a moderate pressure usually below 3 uh, kilopascals uh, type of axle and centrifugal fans are the thrust in such fans air flow direction is approximately parallel to the rotor axis uh, it is a device that uh, um, allows adjustment of the angle of the attack of the blades or pitch of the rotor providing a significant increases in the flow uh, depending on the uh, selected pitch for the operations are the fans most commonly used in underground mines so this day these are fans to in series and fan in parallel is also there uh, depending upon the reason most of the exit flow fans is a go through the uh, direct level centrifugal fan is the opposite of the uh, direction of the rotation this is the difference between the centrifugal fan and axial flow fan is concerned so hi here showing the different type of the fans uh, for purpose of understanding see to easily i can understand the which is the centrifugal fan which is the axial flow fan right right see that Uh, that one is the installation uh, mode is also there Here we see, observe the, uh, this is the vane anemometer for measuring of the uh, air velocity of that one. This is the fan, the axial flow fan, uh, this underground axial flow fan. Uh, device adjacent of the blade angles, attacking of the rotor and the axial flow fans. Corus. Uh, fans features each fan type uh, has a set of the corus which uh, characterize their uh, performance uh, there are pressure corus power and efficiency in a line flow produced by the equipment uh, you can see the example of characteristic curve is a very important because of uh, the characteristic corus uh, uh, of the each fan have it you have it own applications each one have uh, for example, you need the more quantity but less pressure. Sometimes you need to have the more pressure and less quantity. So depending upon the, our uh, requirement, whether the put into fans in axial flow that is a series in nature or parallel nature. If it is parallel nature, the pressure is less and quantity more. If a series uh, we have to operate, the more pressure can be expected or less, but less quantity. Um, uh, depending upon our conditions uh, and also character of curve also changing. So these are the blade uh, bent, bent uh, uh, nature of the, the bent of the blades. So we can be uh, radial uh, bladed centrifugal fan have uh, some advantages there. Backward blade centrifugal fan uh, get some advantages there. Forward bladed centrifugal fan uh, we can get some advantages. Um, so that we see the one by one. Uh, this is the radial bladed centrifugal fan. Uh, see the air inlet is there as well as blade angle this uh, exactly um, 
uh, uh, opposite of the uh, center of the shaft. And this is the forward bladed centrifugal fan. Uh, bladers are in uh, uh, in front movement. So these are the, the, the earlier we see the blades are in a shaft opposite, but these are the slightly uh, inclined towards the forward direction. So this is called airflow uh, foil, airflow blades, because blade angle is a very influencing factor to get in the more air. Then it's a backward bladed centrifugal fan. The blades are in a, a different fashion. Uh, this is the inlet and uh, the tie rod and the hub. Uh, so fan is a other uh, type of fashion. Most of the backward blade is a very suitable in, a, in the mining conditions. Uh, one by one uh, we discuss the coming classes. Centrifugal fan principle. The how the central fan is work one by one is discussed. Uh, coming to the centrifugal fan, uh, this is not very pump uh, inlet like uh, rig and direction of the motion. This is the hub and the blade is moving. This is the tie rods. Uh, these are the um, movement of the tangential force and this is a uh, blade angle showing here. So this is the housing and uh, gas outlets, the fan wheel and into in the exhaust in this state. So this is the opposite of the other one that is called centrifugal fan. Principles of working of a centrifugal fan. A centrifugal fan consists of a, a wheel uh, that is a rotor or runner is there inside carrying veins or blades. They call it the veins or blades. Revolving on a shaft, revolving on a shaft at a speed depending on the size of the wheel and on the pressure difference to be set up uh, between uh, the inlet at the center and the outlet at the periphery uh, its action depends on the fact that uh, the air possess inertia whereby uh, when once the uh, set uh, set in motion it continue uh, to move uh, move continue to move Continue to move in a straight line, except uh, in so far as it is compliant by the some impressive force to do otherwise. So this is the basic uh, principle behind the revolving of the shaft, speed uh, of the uh, the particular uh, uh, shaft. Uh, the blades will be rotating. They will suck the from the A to the inlet center of the um, that mission and uh, thrown out the uh, periphery of the mission. This is the basic. Uh, behind the principle this is the second uh, you can easily understand the how the air will be entering to the uh, to the shaw uh, the inside and also how to throw out that one so that that is a very clearly here given 
So that figure can be shown, as you understand, once again, repeat here. So this is the main that the air is entering, a gas may be entering, what is it may be. So it's rotating impeller. So what happened, the air will be thrown outside. So these are the casing, not possible to go outside. There is only the opening, is come outside. So here is providing the avasi. The most of the exhaust fans, centrifugal fans. So just like uh, uh, centrifugal pump, so water how uh, can come outside similarly air will come outside so that's principally shown here again right uh, centrifugal fans are a device in which the air penetrates in the direction of the rotor and is a discharged radial. So currently, its application in underground mine is linked to the need to obtain high pressures. They are more robust fans, less maintenance, but are of the higher cost and do not allow pitch adjustments. So this is the one uh, uh, things we present. There's a rotor and um, a motor is there so how the air going to centrifugal fans to outside the principle of working of centrifugal fan considered a particular particle of air at a and a figure it is acted upon by the blade which tends to drive it a circular path towards the B owing in a uh, inertia. It is strive to move to straight line in the direction. The combined effect of results of the simultaneous movement in that particle of the air actually flows a spiral path until uh, it is finally thrown clear of the wheel in a direction approximately tangential to the circumferences as shown by the arrow. The above figure, this explanation of the above figure, this figure. This was the working of centrifugal. Once again, I uh, some other expression, but uh, the air, uh, the air is said to fly off because of center force. The word centrifugal means uh, tend, uh, tending to fly uh, from the center. So the term centrifugal force may be conveniently recorded as the strength of the uh, tendency to leave the circular path. But the movement of the air is tangentially rather than the radial. And it is more accurate to say that the air flies off because of the inertia. We have so far considered as a single particle of air. But it is evident that the blades are acting simultaneously. And the whole of the air contained between them and are continuously driving this air from the center towards the circumferences. and and then into the space. The net result is that the fan tends to create a region of the relative low pressure and inlet and upload of the relative to high pressure of the periphery. So that is the basic thing you have to, uh, because of the pressure differences, because of pressure differences, um, the creating vacuum inside so that automatically air will be forced to come to the, uh, the particular location, inlet location, where the blade is rotating speedly. So automatically it is creating the, uh, again, uh, 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 high pressure. So it will be thrown out to the uh, outside of the outlet. So it, if the fan is being used in an exhausting fan, the difference pressure between the inlet and outlet is called a effective depression created by the fan. So this word is very important. Uh, creating of the depression is the one main cause of the, the functioning of the uh, fan. So most of the in a centrifugal fan, you, this word is using depression to creating of the depression to, to the inlet and outlet only the, the functioning of the centrifugal fan is working. Uh, if it has a force fan, it is called the effective compression. So this is a depression. In case of the force, it is called the effective compression. So depending upon the situation of the fan, it can be depression, you can say outlet, you can call compression in case of that.
So the word centrifugal means the moving away from the center. Uh, anything including air if it is revolved uh, will have the tendency to leave the center. There are two rings in the impeller of a centrifugal fan. Uh, in between these two rings are the blades of the centrifugal fan. The rings are connected to the shaft by means of spokes. I in central fan, single inlet and double inlet uh, centrifugal fan, depending on categorization of the fans is concerned. So see that uh, one of the simple uh, schematic diagram. The impeller and blade inlet, shaft, discharge, clearance. So that is rotating and automatically the air will go outside this side. So these are the blade angles are showing here. The axial length and radial, radial depth and blade angle is showing here. So type of blades, blades of the centrifugal fan can be either radial, background, inclined or forward inclined. So these are the types of blades are available in a, um, in a, a centrifugal fan. So already discussion, but this is a backward curved blade. So, so the, the blade moving uh, this one, but it is a Blade location is back side. This is a radial shaft and eye. This is a shaft rotating. The blade is exactly perpendicular. Forward blade inclined. So this is towards inclined towards the this side. This is forward inclined. So these three types of blades are, can be used. Backward um, curved blades, radial blades, and forward inclined. Blades. Then already uh, discussed in there is the characters of the different uh, pressure, power, and versus volume of the uh, different fans are different have uh, advantages depending upon the usage. So this this is a curve of the backward versus flow versus pressure. So backward flow uh, would always use more uh, quantity required when you go through for the backward blade because pressure is loss. Because the resistance is more, so we get better to go to power more required. So this is the radial, this is the forward. This is a comparison of theoretical characteristic curve of the centrifugal impellers. So with this, I'm concluding the uh, mine ventilation part, natural and fans. Uh, so far, we are, we are learned that uh, what is the main by motor column and how to calculate the motor column from the UC and DC, uh, what is the density differences and a simple problem also we are calculated here. And uh, next, another is the, uh, what are the limitations of nature ventilation, why you go to the fan ventilation system. Because the nature ventilation have some limitations to getting to the uh, poorly depending on the density of the air and flowing and also temperature. Uh, such conditions uh, for environment change. So you need the uh, mechanical ventilation system to artificially create it. The energy ventilation we add to the this mechanic. In mechanical also, depending upon the uh, fan characters, depending upon the uh, manufacturing, um, axial flow fan, centrifugal fan is there. Depending on the blade angles also. Radial, blackboard, forward bladed. Centrifugal fan, axial flow is a common uh, things. Booster fan also, axial flow fan things. Uh, these are the uh, general things in which the centrifugal fan is the most popularly using. Uh, in the principle of centrifugal fan is the air is 
uh, sucked by in, inside the impeller from there thrown out the outlets if the outlet is a depression if the force you're using as it is a compression so with this i am concluding this uh, uh, lesson i hope that you are enjoyed today class and now i am give you some switch questions based on the for getting in the uh, complete examination purpose uh, force fan is placed at in a return airway or intake airway the force fan is placed at in return airway please explain so most of the force fan is located in the intake only not in the because of fresh air will be get into the inside so return airway the only exhaust fans are using so that is a major thing you have to observe otherwise your wrong answer is wrong so force fan cannot be used in the return airway so what happened in the return airway the airway will be affected the foil gases will be affected that is important one and then the fan place in the top of the up cost shaft is so up cost that is the exhaust so that means exhaust fan you are using so this answer is exhaust fan okay then other one limitation of nature ventilation what are the limitations in nature ventilation deep depths large mines up to 100 meters shallow depth up to 50 meters none of the above which one is correct so this is not applicable limitation none of the above uh, next motive column is what is the mean by motive column the excess weight of air column in downcast shaft or dc shaft air effective of forces so all the above these three conditions only motor column will be working right next uh, can we give in the uh, uh, correct word dc for dc shaft which one is correct um, 0.4645b uh, 273 uh, density of the air in a dc shaft this is took this is correct so these are the uh, general uh, uh, quiz questions can be expected now i'm giving to the uh, a small question uh, for your purpose find the tar motive column the frequent loss your examination concern please write the uh, question for on this one more question I am giving, which is there. Height of the motor column uh, is equal to the, uh, what is the height of the motor column? NVP divided by the density of A in DC shaft or UC shaft. So this is a very shallow and small means none of them. So NVP is the density of A in the DC shaft, not in UC. So A is the answer. Then write about the motor column. Okay. So clarification, you can go through the uh, for more elaborating. So the here the NVP is the right rest of DC. That is the answer is DC. So that uh, so write the limitations of uh, nature rotation for the another question. The motive column is another question. These two questions write for the assignment purpose. Uh, now it will be concluding that one. Thank you. Thank you very much.